YouTube, it's me, Russ, and my wife and I uh, went to a show Saturday night. Was awesome. Wanted to share some of, some of that story with you. Our dear son was coming back from New York, and we were picking him up at the airport at like 1 a.m. on Saturday night slash Sunday morning, right? And my friend Jeff, Jeff Betger, who's a part of the music scene in Seattle, was in a, he's been in a bunch of bands. Anyway, a friend of mine, he says, hey, going to see a, a show tonight at Lucky Liquor is the name of this. It's a roadhouse kind of club um, in South Seattle. It's in another town called Tukwila, actually. It's right across the street from the Boeing airport anyway all that's boring <laughs> except for lucky liquor is a really cool establishment that almost was demolished and turned into god knows what it's in an industrial area pretty much we parked at the boeing facilities parking lot where they build the big boeing jets boeing airport in seattle jeff's like you come see the show tonight i'll buy you a beer and, and hanging out with a punk legend like Jeff it's awesome as well and we're like hey we're headed to the airport which is like seven minutes away from there SeaTac airport heck yeah we'll go so my wife and I get there parked at the Boeing <laughs> or in the Boeing parking lot and then walking to the venue here oh, yeah. I had a burger and fries and it was like it was really good for like 11 bucks in the city of Seattle that would have been like twenty dollars, right? But just just outside, you know, good bar for sure. Tom Price Desert Classic. <laughs> What's the name of the the band slash arrangement that showed up first? And um, the the lead singer had uh, Parkinson's and got, took his shirt off, right? Went full Burt Kreischer after the first song. It was interesting because the first song was. My cheating heart, right? Like, okay, this is like a country thing. And then it went into this. And then he went into a 18 minute long musical poem, basically set to music. The next band came out and they were called IE. local kind of vibe to IE. They did a cover of a, a magazine song that was amazing as well, and uh, we really enjoyed their set. And then came the headline. first got there there's these two guys that were kind of hanging out this one guy tall guy long hair kind of a foreign accent dude and this is the guy that my friend Jeff 
had met before and was invited to the show. Like, you got to see this. We're coming into town. And, and these guys were all from Germany. So these were these were German punks, right, from Europe. What is it, Tacoma on Tuesday? With, with I as well? Great band. And... Um, What's then? Then we go to California. Black Smoker! Cla California! Black Smoker! That's the other band, right? Yeah! Come to Tacoma! with these guys a lead singer would like walk out into the crowd with the mic just like <laughs> He also looked like he brought a clarinet in there, and I've never seen a clarinet used in a punk band, but I caught this at the end of it. <laughs> Toiling Midgets on their West Coast tour this is the EP that they're touring for, and I got the whole band to sign. Um, my wife, uh, Jeff, and I hung out with the band after the show, and was they were really, really great bunch of guys. Um, Craig Gray, I got this classic piece of post-punk. Sea of Unrest. This is uh, Toiling Midgets, 1982. This was released. These guys have been around since 1980 and uh, tragically lost five of their band members over the years. So, um, tour dates. I'll put that at the end of the video here. Gotta check them out. Uh, Jeff bought my wife a beer too, by the way. <laughs> he didn't have to do that. He was just, he's just a great guy. Also got this from IE. Uh, LP record, very cool, classic Seattle stuff. I have to show you the wax on this one. Uh, it's like a yellow kind of smoke vinyl. Awesome, was very happy with that. This came with liner notes. Inside here, I even, that's a from the Seattle Center. Lyrics even. Sea of Unrest on black wax. Right there. Two LP records. They're selling records at the show. And these are established bands, so they have enough following to make pressings and sell the wax. Some more information about Lucky. Um, IE is going to be tonight as I'm releasing this video in the morning on Tuesday, the 16th, right? They're gonna be at the Plaid Pig in Tacoma and the dates are uh, gonna be at the end of the video here. Lucky Liquor is a cool place if you're ever in Seattle and wanna check out a show. Um, they got shows during the week, during the weekend. Great place. Thanks for watching.